hello welcome to caravan escapades welcome back if you've seen some of our other vlogs and this is not your first time and hi and welcome if it is your first time hopefully you'll stick around uh, and enjoy some of the vlogs what i want to chat to you about today i guess is is, is slightly caravan late related is probably a little bit more um safety related um i broke down recently in my car or certainly just before christmas in my car um, and ended up on a dark lane in quite a difficult position uh, i did have high vis vest i also had a warning triangle what i discovered though was within five minutes um, my warning triangle had been driven over and destroyed by approaching cars although they'd stopped they stopped at the warning triangle pulled away didn't see it and sort of drove straight over it so it left me in a slightly precarious position i thought what i want is something a bit more visible um, so i got online did a bit of research and i found these things called uh, road beacons um, they're almost like little road flares um, in fact let me show you the bag before i open it i should have shown you really first so road beacons um, this is a bag of six i bought this from amazon um, you can get them in packs of three or six reason i bought six and i'll show you how they work in a minute is I felt certainly if we were stopped um, or broken down with a caravan on the back on a particular lane, we can make a good run up to the, uh, to the car and the caravan or even sort of around the caravan. So what are these? Um, these are our warning beacons uh, which you lay on the road. They're magnetic. They've got a magnetic strip on the back or um, you can hang them. So they've got a hook on there as well. Um, basically press it. And it starts flashing i don't know how well you can see that that's it um, press it again and it will change the pattern um, press it again and it will change the pattern again press it again change the pattern again so it'll steady um, various different patterns so i felt these were quite a useful little security safety device basically with six of them um, there's another one there look with six of them laid in the road um, before a broken down vehicle they could be quite a useful addition so at least you're seen and people aren't going to sort of drive into you um, what other features do they have um, to turn them off you basically press and hold it flashes like that and then goes off um, if you press the button twice very quickly you've got a torch so it actually gives you a torch as well as your flashing bulb so press that twice to turn it off hold and press will the torch come on without the flashing lights you know what i've not tried that let's give it a go so quick double press way so we do have a handy torch as well um, so what i did was i went out earlier on in the dark um, put these down the road outside our house so take a look at its bit of footage i took with my phone of these in action Okay, here's some footage of how effective the road beacons can be. Um, this is on a sort of dark lit night. Um, I've just got them on the rotating pattern at the moment. Um, so I'm kind of guessing from a distance um, they'd be quite effective to at least sort of warm. I've got them close pattern at the moment. Um, but yeah, right, let's try them on another pattern, see what that looks like. So this is quite an effective pattern. You've got the... Um, five beacons six beacons sorry going off um just on flashing um i could get them in sequence i guess but i didn't try them in sequence so that's quite an effective pattern as well let me try another one so this is them on a slow rotate um again i think from a from a distance i mean i'm on a lit street here at the minute uh and not on a dark lane but certainly from a distance I think they could be seen and you could spread them right down the side of your your car and your caravan let's try another sequence see what we can get so these are just on a flash mode um so they're flashing still effective um but the flash is probably a little bit slow i think my preference is for one of the spinning um indications let's see what else we can find even on permanently on they work as very good marker lights um, and again i believe that it could be seen from uh, from quite a distance away so let's see if there's any more 
modes for the road beacons. So another mode here is where you can light up just one side of the beacon so it can reflect. So you could have half the beacons pointing to, say, the rear of your beacon at your vehicle. And then the rest, you see, pointing to the front. And that kind of gives you an idea of how they can be lit up. And remember, this is on a lit road. Um, when I had the misfortune to break down, it was on a, a dark lane, quite a dark high speed lane as well. So having these would have been ideal. I think the rotating has to be probably, the rotating and the, uh, the flashing probably has to be one of my favorites. So that's the rotating. And there we've got the flashing. I suppose with a little effort, you could probably get them into a reasonable sequence. So you could have them all flashing um, in a line together. So there you go, the road beacons. Um, probably not a bad, bad investment, um, certainly for your car, um, but also probably useful for when you're traveling with your caravan as well. So these are the road beacons. Um, you saw that video, I thought it was quite impressive. Um, certainly shows up really well in the dark. Um, yeah. I'll put links below, um, certainly down below, I'll put links below, put down there, somewhere down there. Um, so I'll put links down below to where you can buy these. There are quite a few on Amazon, as I say, you can buy them in invariably, singly, um, packs of three uh, and packs of six. I put a pack of three in Claire's car uh, and got a pack of six to carry around in my car as the main tow vehicle. Um, at least that way, if we do break down with the caravan on the back, we've got a good spread, we don't have to just rely on the three of those. So they are um, road beacons, probably a useful safety device um, just to have around with you because my warning triangle failed very quickly when somebody drove over it. So there we go. Let me drop those back in the bag there. In fact, I'll put those back later rather than you having to wait for me. Um, Hopefully you're enjoying these vlogs as we um, as we get along. If you haven't already got one of the Caravan Escapade stickers, um, I think I showed you those in an earlier vlog. Um, all you need to do is like the Facebook page, share the Facebook page, and subscribe to the YouTube page. Um, let me know you've done that by dropping us a message via the Facebook page. Um, if you're looking for the Facebook page, just search Facebook for Caravan Escapade and you'll find us there. Um, Please join in the chat on the Caravan Escapades. Um, thanks again for all your support. Please like, subscribe and share. And hopefully we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks very much and goodbye for now. Cheers now.